Welcome to Dude RV. I sure appreciate you stopping by. Choke Canyon, ha <laughs> ha, yes. Here at Choke Canyon State Park, they actually have a number of trails. I'm gonna put them all together in one video. Today I'm hanging out at Choke Canyon State Park and I ran across the Emperor Run. A short hiking trail. We're gonna go check out the Green Jay, Green Jay Pass. Today I saw the, the Hawk Alley Trail. So I thought we'd explore that. Here at, where are we? Choke Canyon, ha <laughs> ha, yes. Here at Choke Canyon State Park, they actually have a number of trails. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them all together in one video, most likely, uh, cause they're not really extensive trails. But I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm really excited because the trails here are very navigable with the mobility scooter. And so this is the Owl Hollow, and it's identified as the Nature Trail, and it's actually <laughs> right here at the dump station. So let's go take a trail ride. All right, we are rolling. Cue the music. All right, well, before I, just before I started the camera rolling here, I was having a conversation with two of the park rangers, and they answered a lot of questions for me. Elvis Hernandez, I appreciate your, he's one of the, the new state police rangers here. But uh, I asked the question that I've, I've been trying to figure out since I got here, which was why the lake level is so very low. Uh, the fisherman that I talked to yesterday implied that it was because Corpus Christi uh, chose to, to, for it to be that way. The truth is, this lake is fed by the Frio River. That is the only water that feeds into this lake. It's a small watershed. So if that small area, that small watershed does not receive sufficient amount of rain, the lake is going to be at a low level because there are uh, people downriver from this lake that also have claim to water rights. So the, the river has to keep flowing. All right, so now we have the answer to that question. Uh, the park rangers were just wanted me to let y'all know that there's plenty of things to do here in this park, even if you know the beach is not accessible, if you can't go swimming. There's the hiking trails and camping and you can still fish if you can find a way to get to the water's edge and you can definitely boat but for me i'm most excited about the navigable trails the hike and bike trails that i can scooter on They, uh, they were just curious about the, about a little red. They did not uh, tell me that I could not operate my mobility scooter. So I did not have to have the Americans with Disability Act conversation. I'm so glad.
Oh, pigs have torn that one up. Of course, there's, they're, they're dealing with the wild hog problem here, just like most of our Texas state parks are. Hollow turns into Owl Hollow turns into Wren Lane. I will say this, my legs are getting tired. Fly catcher away. I wonder if a birder was involved with putting these trails in. Of course, this nature trail does not seem to have the as many, if any, information placards as uh, a lot of the nature trails that we've scooted do. This, one, this one's quite a bit more rough than uh, any of the others that we've been on. The park ranger was saying they had they had a pig issue back in here, and I can sure see that. coming out on the, the very first and only paved trail. Right. We're gonna go back this way. We can go a little faster now. Man, 
Oh man! All right, we're gonna get to the end of this trail and I'll close out this video. How y'all doing? We are coming back out onto the shelter loop. The Emperor Run. A little looks like a short hiking trail going over to the day use area. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna check it out. It looks like a handicap friendly trail. So we'll go see if we can add another one to the playlist. I did see a deer just a little while ago, so we might see some other wildlife. There's supposed to be some peccary and what, turkey, lots of birds, and of course down on the lake there's supposed to be alligators, but I doubt we'll see them up here on this trail. Now we are not too very far from the old King's Road, so maybe that's why they call this now this is the OS, also known as the OSR, Old San Antonio Road. That ran from down in Mexico up into Louisiana. Very pretty. It's hot today. We are we're down here on August 3rd, 2020. It rained on us the whole drive down. But fortunately, it looks like it's cleared out. It is Friday, and the park does not does not have a whole lot of people in it. But it's, it's Friday, it's still early, so who knows? I'm hoping that all of that rain this morning changed everybody's mind about camping. Now, according to a website where I was looking at lake levels, Choke Canyon Reservoir is only at 30% pool, which is extremely low. And they sent out a message to us, because we had reservations, they said that uh, bank fishing and swimming were discouraged due to low water levels. Not much of a trail. We're gonna go check out the Green Jay, Green Jay Pass here at Choke Canyon State Park.
trails have been suitable. Green Jay Pass is going to take us out into the cabin loop. All right, we'll go find some more trails. All right, we are we're back over here by the the lake, the tent camping area. And I, yesterday I saw the, the Hawk Alley Trail. So I thought we'd explore that. And so far I've been on three trails here that are, or is it two? I've been on a couple of trails and, and so far all of the trails have been accessible. Well, they're not ADA compliant. but I'm, I'm able to scoot them. There's not a lot of big drop-offs or, or routes. Can't go fast, mind you. Definitely accessible for mobility devices. Lot of them big giant red ants here. Two things that I had hoped to see uh, uh, here while I'm here some peccary. And an alligator, but with the lake level being the way it is, I don't think I'm gonna get to see the alligator. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Wonderful.
we're coming out on the street, the road here. And right across the road is Dove Place. So we shall go explore Dove Place. A little bit, little bit difficult to get off the edge of the road there. Just scraped a little bit. Dove Place doesn't seem to get as much traffic. It's a little rough. Might have to accelerate the timeline on this one because this is kind of rough. Kind of rough. Not too bad though. How are y'all doing? It's a great day for a hike. It's not too awfully hot. Now getting back up on the road might be a bit of a challenge for the scooter here. Hey, I appreciate y'all coming along for the ride. If you're still with me at this point, I really appreciate it. If you're still with me at this point, thank you so very much. I'm very honored that you would you would come with me and explore the, the hike and bike paths here at Choke Canyon State Park. I think this is a good one to come visit. Uh, you're not going to be doing much swimming because just the water level is just so low, but it's still a, it's a very neat ecosystem. Those of you who have been following along, thank you. I am so deeply honored. I'm, I'm truly grateful that you give me your time and attention. Y'all come back now, you hear?